Okay, I think we're on. Welcome back. Um, guitar review day today. Um, this time I have a, uh, it's a first look, by the way, guys. This is just a uh, first look, out of the box, uh, no demo. So um, if that's what you're expecting to hear this, you're not going to hear it today. You're just going to hear about it. Uh, first look, first impression. This is a um, Sterling by Music Man CT30 SSS, meaning three single coils. So obviously this is a Strat style guitar. Um, I bought this from Amazon as an open box off of the warehouse. And again, as I mentioned in some of the earlier videos, it's a crapshoot. This time I got lucky. Um, this was $164 plus tax um, marked like new. And it was pretty much in like new condition when I got it, albeit the frets, uh, the fret ends on this thing were like razor blades, really, really sharp. So this thing was laying around for a while before they uh, they sold it on the warehouse. But I, you know, I filed them down and they're, they're you know, they're fine now. So that was a minor thing. But um, let's talk about the guitar. So it's, again, a Strat style guitar. This is the headstock. As you can see, it's Sterling um, by Music Man. Cutlass is the model. Um, SUB series, and it's the 4 over 2 headstock. There's no truss rod adjustment here. On this guitar, it has a wheel, which is right at the base of the neck, as you can see. And I love that about this guitar, actually, versus a, you know, a typical Strat. It's a lot more easy to access, and it works great in terms of you know um, both directions, bi-directional truss rod adjustment. Um, so that's really nice. It has a maple uh, fretboard and maple neck, satin finish, matte satin finish, which is also very nice. The neck has a 12 inch radius, so it's somewhat flat, flatter than a nine and a half inch radius that's on a typical Strat guitar. But it does have a bit of a girth to it. Um, it's not as thin as an Affinity or a Squire Affinity or a, definitely a Classic Vibe or anything like that. This has a little bit more girth. Um, if that's what you're looking for, you're going to love it. If you want a thinner neck, um, you may not like it. But that's the, uh, the the situation here. It's a C-style neck, um, C-shaped neck, but it does have a little bit of a um, you know thickness to it. Not super, but more so than a typical Strat. Um, Twenty-two uh, narrow frets on this guitar. Um, it is a twenty-five and a half inch scale, consistent with a Strat. The tuners on here are okay. They're Sterling tuners, sealed tuners, they work fine. This guitar is an import. It was made in Indonesia. This is um, Daphne Blue. And again, I don't know how well this color is coming through on the video, but it is a very pale blue, uh, Daphne Blue. It also comes in charcoal frost and Fiesta Red. The tremolo system on here is a basic tremolo. It's a fulcrum tremolo system, very good. As tremolos go, bass tremolos go, it's fairly stable. I don't use a tremolo bar, so I'm not a big tremolo user, but it's fine. The saddle and the the the, the um, bridge on here, rather, is a great, um, you know, sturdy bridge. Um, the pickups are three single coil pickups. I'm assuming these are not Alnico, but I can't confirm that. I haven't opened it up, so I, I think they're ceramics, but they may be Alnico. I'm not sure. The sound is fine. On, on this guitar for stock pickups. Uh, only two um, controls on here as opposed to a, a normal Strat. So you have one volume and one tone, which is fine for me because I never use the second tone anyway. Um, Five-way switch, which is very secure. Everything um, from the pots to the switches feel like they're made really well. Good quality. Um, again, the, the plate at the neck um, uh, is, is a five screw neck plate with sterling embossed on it, which is a nice little touch. I like the rounded base of the neck here as well. It's very good access to the upper frets on the guitar. Um, the nut on the guitar is uh, a basic plastic nut, you can see here, but it's made well, cut well. Um, out of the box, string action was fine, intonation was fine. Again, my only complaint was that the, the fret ends were razor sharp, but again, it's because it was probably sitting around for a while. But I filed them down and they're fine. Guys, this time for an Amazon warehouse purchase, I lucked out, okay? You have 
good breaks and bad breaks at Amazon. This time, for $164 plus tax for this guitar, which is normally $350, $349.99, great deal. And um, I really like the guitar. Uh, I think it's, it's a good quality Strat-style guitar, um, on par with a classic vibe, I would say, in terms of the Squire line, um, quality-wise. And uh, um, really, really nice guitar. So um, any questions that you have uh, regarding this as a first impression that I just mentioned, please fire them below. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. I'll have another video coming where I'll plug the guitar in and play it. Um, as always, guys, if you find these reviews helpful, uh, please support the channel by subscribing. And uh, until, the, until the next time, guys, be well and stay safe. Take care.